I'm going to start vlogging about my political beliefs just because um, I'm in the mood for it. And also, I want my vlogs to be more topically themed so that, like, if someone wants to look up how I feel about my political beliefs, they can. And so, yeah. I've been thinking a lot lately about my political views, and I would probably class myself as left to centered. Not just because, like, I really, I just think that way, but because I've taken that, um, one of those political tests, and I took that same political test different times at the span of several years apart, and I always got left of centered. And they actually, both times, I also got left of centered with libertarian leanings. I don't even consider myself libertarian, but I thought that was an interesting result. Because politically, I do believe that people deserve autonomy and freedom. I'm a firm proponent of that, but I, I don't really think that the Libertarian Party is like what I want to affiliate myself with. Not because I have anything against them, but just because I don't know enough about them to really um, connect myself to them yet. I don't really consider myself a Democrat either, so I really am an independent. Not because I'm being, oh, such a rebel. I really just don't agree with everything the Democratic Party stands for. So, I consider myself a left-leaning independent. And I consider myself a fair and impartial one that can be objective. Because I even voted for Mitt Romney when he was running against Obama. Just because I liked Mitt Romney at the time. Even though, like, almost no one else did. Like, he was unpopular when he was running. Like, that's why, like, he couldn't get the Republican base to like him. The Democrats didn't want him. The, the liberals didn't want him because they obviously wanted Obama reelected. And so, yeah, like, and campaigns tend to be harsh in general. Um, they tend to be mudslinging fest. So, yeah, like, um, but I, I kind of saw through all that. And so I, I actually liked Mitt Romney at the time, and I still do. I think he's a, he's definitely a true statesman. He was the only one recently who was even to will, who was even willing to like, you know, get witnesses for the impeachment. Like he he was the only Republican who actually stood up, you know, for the nation. And I think that speaks volume about volumes about his character. And I already spotted that from him way before, you know, it was even cool to like him. And so, yeah, um, my, my politics are really all over the place, to be honest. Like, I, I, I believe in, like, universal health care, but I'm also, like, I have mixed feelings about guns. I'm not really for or against gun rights. I, I, I'm still on the fence. For a while, I was all pro-gun rights, but then I changed my mind with all these mass shootings. But I, I, I'm, I am all about making informed, informed positions about what I believe in. So I, I don't really have a firm position on gun rights or gun control. And I am against the death penalty because I think it's destructive and it's awful. Even though I do believe that, like, you know, there needs to be some sort of justice, um, you know, done for people who've been murdered or raped or people who, who've been wronged. But, like, I, I, I'm just against the death penalty because I don't think the death penalty is really the way to go. I think people get wrongfully convicted, and even the ones who don't, like, they te they did what they did, I don't think they deserve to die either. That's just what I've always believed in. I don't believe people deserve to die. Like, I, I, I believe that people deserve to be rehabilitated into society, even if they did heinous things. Like, I think that's actually better for society as a whole is to actually rehabilitate people instead of putting them in prison. And so, yeah. Um, I consider myself a left-leaning independent. And I don't agree with everything the Democratic Party stands for, but I guess I am more likely to vote Democrat these days because um, we, li we live in a two-party system that kind of keeps you from being able to vote independent. And, I mean, it is sadly what it is. And I don't think right now is the time to really vote for third party. 
for the upcoming presidential election. Like, I'll just leave it at that. Because, um, I also don't, I, well, to be fair, I don't believe in making fun of people who, who choose to vote third party. Because their vote is their decision. Like, I'm all for freedom and autonomy. But, you know, there's, I think there's too much at stake right now to vote for third party. And, th- and that's basically what I'll leave this at. I bid you guys all do. This is Alice from the palace. I hope you all have a good day.